Last night at 10, we told you about a home improvement scam with almost 30 victims in four months' time. Now, the way they tell us it works, the company in question would complete a portion of the job, talk to the homeowner into giving half or all of the money, and then never come back. Nikki Kimbleton is investigating the story. You've got some surprising news about why. Until recently, Nikki, there were no plans to prosecute the owner of this company. Yeah, that's right, and good morning. You know, three months ago, a group of homeowners filed these reports, this stack right here, against Arthur Kenley Ayers and his company, K&D Tree and Landscaping. Now, all of these reports claim that Ayers only did a small portion of the work he was paid for, not just taking their money, but forcing them to hire somebody else to come in and clean up the mess that was left behind. Despite these complaints, he wasn't arrested, and now we've uncovered dozens of new victims. We wanted to know how could this happen, so we went to the state attorney's office. And it seems like he preys on people that, you know, women that are alone and, you know, that they can take advantage of. My husband is very ill, and I'm not angry. I'm, I'm angry with me for being stupid. We talked to victim after victim, and they all say the same thing. Well, he also had told me, he says, I, I need money up front to pay my workers, and that sounded okay. So I went ahead and gave him 700 up front. He got uh, $1,400. Once they paid, the victims we talked with say Ayers would never come back, leaving them with this, a yard full of debris and stumps sticking out of the ground. We found around two dozen homeowners who say they've been ripped off by K&D Tree and Landscaping within the last month. And five more who claim he scammed them back in February. They filed complaints with police, and those complaints made it to the state attorney's office in mid-March. But the state attorney decided these were all civil matters, not criminal. The victims were livid. A Channel 4 crime expert, Ken Jefferson, is not surprised. In the court's view, it's not a criminal case. In other words, uh, this person promised to perform a service for a certain amount of money, and that promise wasn't completely kept. Because Ayers starts the jobs like you see him doing here in this surveillance video, the state attorney's office says it appeared that he had intent to finish them. Prosecutors tell us they needed more evidence to show intent to intentionally defraud. That's the criminal charge. When we presented them with what we uncovered, more and more and more new cases, prosecutors launched a new investigation. The victims we talked with on and off camera say they don't expect their money back, but they do want justice. I feel very ashamed for him. Um, I feel sad that this is what he has to do. He has the opportunity to uh, possibly make a good living, honestly, and he chooses to do it this way. We handed over all of the information that we uncovered to the state attorney's office, and they have reopened this case. Six victims tell me that they've already been contacted by the investigator with the state attorney's office. So we do know that law enforcement, they are investigating, and that is underway. We will let you know what happens with this, and we'll let you know if any charges are fire, filed against Ayers. In the meantime, we want to make sure this same thing doesn't happen to you. That is why coming up at 820 this morning, Channel 4 crime expert Ken Jefferson will be in studio to take us step-by-step step through the do's and don'ts when you hire somebody to work for you.